Okay, so in today's video, what I want to do is show you how to prepare your level to bring in your castle. And I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, fix the collisions and so on on it. And so, the, now yesterday, maybe you played around with this, but I want to repeat this one because it's really uh, important. I didn't really talk about it yesterday. So we have the W, E, R key. So W is move keys. Okay, so you can move stuff in your level. Really important. Obviously, uh, this moves it in this direction, which is the Y. And this moves it in this direction, X. And this moves it up and down, which is the Z. Now, what I really want to do is delete a bunch of this stuff. But I want to show you. So I said W, E is what? It's rotate. Okay, so it rotates something. And the last one is uh, R. So if I want to make something a lot bigger or a lot smaller. So that's in my level now. I'm going to delete that. But I just want to show you. So W E R. And yesterday we learned W A S D and Q and R. So this allows us to move up and down. And a little reminder that you can make it move a lot quicker over here. If you want to go like super fast, that's what happens. I put it on eight. I'm just going to go here and I'm going to go press E. Look how fast it goes up. And if ever you get lost, I'll give you another really important trick. Now you could. Click over here in what's called the world outlier and just click on it and press F. The F key is really great. It'll zoom on whatever it is you got clicked. And another really important one is the player start. So F. So that shows you where the player actually starts the level. Something we're going to fix right now. And I encourage you to do this, all of you. So under the world outlier, you're going to see something called lighting. So we're going to open that. We're going to click light source. And we're going to change it because we have good computers from stable to, to mobile. And look what happens. This disappears. And that's what we want. And, you know, we're going to get rid of all this stuff. So now what I want to do is delete everything in this level. So I'm going to do that quickly. I'm not going to delete everything, in fact. I'm going to delete everything you see me delete. The floors, the blocks. Uh, I'm not deleting my player here. I'm not deleting. You're going to see these little light things here. Don't delete those. Because look, look what happens if I, I erase those. I'm, right now, it's like Photoshop. I'm just making them invisible. Uh, let's see here. Sky sphere. I got to go to the lighting. I'll turn off the lighting. Well, there's one thing I'm missing because usually it should go dark. I forget what it is. But in other words, keep everything except the blocks and all that. And this light bounding box, we can enlarge it if we want. It's not that important. So this is what you should be doing because we're making room for our castle. Okay. So once you've gotten all this done, great. So we're going to now go under modes, under landscape. So we're going to keep this really simple right now. So you're just going to click landscape and you're going to click create and leave everything the way it is. And there you go. Now you're going to see something pop up. And I am going to suggest we do the sculpting of our landscape a little bit later. Okay. And I want to show you something else that I should have told you. I'm going to, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to delete the landscape and I redo it. I made a small mistake. I could have fixed it another way after. So you see here, it says e enable edit layers. So we're going to do that because this allows us to add a lake and all this other cool stuff and just click create. Okay, so let's do that. That's important. And what I want to do now is I'm going to start by bringing in my castle. So the first thing I should do is create a folder for my castle. So down here in the content section, uh, and you might have this open too. I'm going to right click, create a new folder called Castle. Okay, and I'll, whoops, I'll open that folder. And I'm going to import the castle that I've done. Now, this means it's kind of, it's supposed to be done. Okay, guys? And so that's the point. Yeah, if you're not done, keep working on it, and this video will be posted. So I'm going to click Import. I'm going to go get my FBX file. I want to just show you, I exported an error here, OBJ, 
It'll probably still work, but I'd, I'd rather you do it correctly and use FDX. So I'll click on this. Now here's the thing. Depending on how you built it in uh, Asset Forge, it may come in really small. Well, in fact, it does come in really small. It's usually at one. So I change this to 100. And sometimes you have to rotate it, but the big one is just add this 100, okay? It's like import, and it will give a small, these aren't really bad errors. And you see, oh, good news, mine is not sideways. Some of you will bring it in and it'll be sideways. All you do is, well, when you drag it in, okay, and look at, like, I, this is what I'm about to do is adjust this. Like, look at the size of that door. That's ridiculous. Like, my guy is like, well, maybe you're okay with that, but I'm telling you right now, it's way too big. So I want to just show you what would I do. I'm going to click on, I'm going to close this landscape. Because notice, if this is showing up, and you see if this starts happening, oh, what's going on? There's stuff popping and all this. We'll do that later. For now, we'll just click X, okay? Go back to the regular mode. What I want to do is click on the castle. What did I just so, show you? W-E-R. Well, I'm going to shrink the castle down just a little bit. I'm going to move it over here. And now is where I start play testing. I know there's an error right away, but I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to try to run in this door, and it won't work. Boom. What's happening? When I imported my, my game or my castle into my game, I imported it with collision. So right now I'm going to, you see this little button lit? Let's see, this is what the player sees. So my player, that, that dude that's running around, this is what he sees. He doesn't see a castle. He just, it's just a big block. So he can't go in it. So we need to fix that. Well, how do we do that? Let's put this back to lit. Okay. And. Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. The you know, click on it, and you see this pops up. Then click on this, and there's the castle. You see this blue here? That means it's a static mesh. So I'm going to double click on it, and it always is in a floating window. Just grab it, drag it up here. Okay. So one of the things you're going to see up here is collisions. So collisions in a video game are brought in just like the geometry. So yeah, it, br it brings in the way it looks. That's a thing. Good, obviously. We see it with our eyes. But what you don't know is it also brings in collisions because the, vi the video game characters need to know that this is a thing in the game. So if I go again, here, let's see the collision. We already know what it's going to look like. It's just a big block. So I'm going to leave this on. I am going to go here. So as long as this is selected, which it is because we're in it, it's only one static mesh. Go down here, change this, use complex collisions as simple. Boom. Now, here's the thing. There's, if we were making a game with like 30 castles, we would want to do this in a more complicated way, but for now we're all beginners, so it doesn't matter. So now this is what my player is going to see. Okay, so what I want to do now is obviously save it. I can change this back to normal. And then let's go see what happens now. I'm going to press play. And what we're doing now is we're play testing our castle. Will I be able to run through the doors? Well, one of the things you might decide is it's too big, sir. Well, how do I do it? I just showed you. you just press escape, click here, press the W E R key, and maybe. Now, you notice I'm grabbing it from the middle. I want to show you what happens if I only grab one like this. It'll, you notice? Like, you know what it just did? It just smushed it from one direction. Control Z. If I grab it from that, it does again. That, so the trick is to do it from the middle. And now one thing that you're going to notice is it might be doing it too much. So I'm going to change this to one. Uh, is that the right one? No. It's I always I always get these confused. Is it ten? I'm just going to lower them all. This one is point. That's the increments. You see, now it's better. That is, it was the third one because it was too big. And so what I'm doing is maybe now it's better. What I'm going to do now is go play test it again. How do I play test? Click play. Then I'll go run in here. Still a bit big. But what I want to do now is take a few minutes. 
run around. And yeah, my stairs are gigantic, enormous. Maybe it's normal. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe it's not what you want. Yeah, it seems a little bit. Okay, I'm going to shrink this still. So again, I'm going to press escape. Press here. Look for the little arrow. Let's go like that. Now I'm going to have to double check that I can run through the door. I should be able to. Play. And I always start from the beginning. I'll show you tricks so that you don't have to. I'm going to check out these stairs. Okay, they're still pretty big. I can still shrink it. But what I want to show you is there's an error here. When I made my castle in Acid Forge, I made a mistake. So what I want to do now is click Escape. I'm going to go back to Acid Forge. I'm going to take this stairs. W, well, theirs is different, okay? They don't have WER. And there was a gap there. So I made a mistake. I'm going to place this. I'm going to go in and zoom it. You know, turn around and see, make sure you, you don't have a mistake again. You don't want to always, so we're going to go like this. Looks pretty good. File, you can save it again. But file, export model. And what I want to do is, again, FBX should still be there. Click export. It'll copy over the other one. Click yes. Then come back to Unreal Engine. This is what I want to show you. Whoops. I still have it on super high speed here. How do I change that again? Right over here, guys. Usually four is the best one. Three or four. If you're having a hard time, go to three. So you see it's still wrong. So I'm going to click on this. Right click. Re-import. Boom. Just fixed it. There. See how cool that is? So the other thing that you might notice is, uh, you know, I could have made my castle nicer. I should have added stairs here. I should have put some wood piles and decorations in my castle. And as you play around with it, that's what you're going to do, okay? Now I'm going to show you something else. I'll just, let's pretend I'm like, oh, it's always so far. I got to run so far. I, I don't want to run so far. I want to start, let's say, right here. So just right click, go play from here. Okay, why is it doing that? Uh, do, 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 what am I forgetting here? It's under play. Under play settings. Give me a second here. I'll, I'll click stop. Just a second. I'll show you. Play. Current camera location. Just do that. So you go over here. The camera's here. Just click edit. And click play. Okay, something's buggy. Let's do it again. I'm missing something here. Done this a hundred times. You think it would work. All right. Well, whatever. You just run back. I'll figure it out. I'll let you guys know. So if any of you are done, the next thing you can do is press escape. Go here. And we're gonna. I'm going to change this to 8 on purpose. And what I want to do is work on my landscape. So here's my whole world. I made a pretty big world. My castle's in the middle of it right now so again how did I go to landscape mode over here and there's the sculpt thing right here and what you can do is begin making mountains okay so I'm gonna increase the strength I'm gonna go to like four and what I'm gonna do is do some mountain ranges all the way around now so I'm gonna do just one row here because I don't want the video to be too long All right, so those are not very big mountains. I could make them way higher. Just keep holding it down and, and down and down. And again, if I press Q, oh yeah, okay, well, starting to look a little silly. I think my fall off here is needs to be a little bit less. So play around with that. Yeah, that's way better. And maybe, you know, the other thing that you can do is the size of your brush. So, you know, you can make it, a lot bigger let's say you, you want just one big mountain over here and another thing that's cool you could put your castle on here so you can build a ramp and then click here then press enter and there's a ramp okay so you could have a ramp that goes up your castle so you can move it and put it up there okay 
So that's kind of, and 